everybody, welcome back to the Attract Capital webinar series. I'm Janine, here with CEO David Barnett. Hi everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the keys to closing a loan. So Dave, as we get into this, what are the most important things in closing a loan? Great question, Janine. There's three keys to closing a loan, particularly in this lending environment. It's communication, it's motivation on the part of the lender, and it's coordination with respect to the teamwork. And you need to have all three of those things working in tandem in order to close a loan, especially in today's environment. Okay, and then how important is it for the leader to be motivated, the lender? Well, the lender, um, the, the, key, the most important of all these three is the, the motivation level of the lender. You don't want to work with a lender who isn't motivated because there's certain approvals that they have to get, there's certain work that they have to do internally, and you need a lender that really needs to get a loan done for whatever reason. They may need to hit a volume target, they may need to replace some assets that ran off of their portfolio, they may really take a personal interest in the company, they may really uh, relate to the growth uh, potential that the company has. Whatever the reason, you want a lender that's invested in closing that loan. That's not always the lender who's going to offer you the lowest pricing or the best terms, but you want to feel that palpable sense of motivation from your lender. And if you have that, that's the most important thing. Um, they really have to want to do business because you really can't pull them through the process. If they're not self-motivated, it's going to be hard to pull them through regardless of how well you communicate and how well you coordinate with them. Okay, so as we're talking about self-motivation, let's talk about communication. Okay. How important is communication? Communication <laughs> is vital uh, because so often in today's business world, everybody's virtual and everybody's sending emails and we're not in the same city when we're closing a loan. We may be in different time zones. So communicating uh, frequently, communicating comprehensively is essential because the team is advancing at a steady pace in order to get to the closing table and everybody has to be kind of aligned. You can't have somebody who's 10 yards ahead or somebody that's five yards behind. Everybody's got to be at the same place. The only way you get there is clockwork regimented communication. Um, and it's, it's easy to say that, but it's hard to do it because I think everybody just likes to zip off an email and zip off an email or yeah. send out a text or what have you, but it's much harder to implement that because the live communication is the key to it. Whether it's a phone call, or whether it's a Zoom meeting, uh, that's really how you uh, institutionalize the communication in a deal setting. That sounds like a lot of coordination. And it is coordination, so the communication kind of interlocks the coordination. So and when I say coordination, I, you know, and that's the, th the third key to closing a deal, you really need to have uh, a business leader on the team who's sort of the quarterback, who's uh, keeping the, the, the CEO or the CFO of the company informed of where things are, but is also uh, reaching out to the lender and knows where they are and who is able to align with the lawyers so that the lawyers know where everybody is and to kind of keep everybody in the game uh, so that everybody's coordinated and understanding the critical path. So the critical path would be, you know, in order to get to advance five years down the field, the lawyers have to do these things. And once the lawyers do those things, then the business leader has to jump in and do a few things. So understanding where you are at each step of the way and what hurdle has to be scaled in order for everything to move down the field. Sounds like you're a great business leader. Well, that's sort of what Attract Capital has done for its clients for the last 20 years. We provide the closing leadership for our clients because mm -hmm. there's a lot of unexpected things that arise and lenders and lawyers are not always the best at telegraphing what those hurdles are and what those potential surprises are. So we're good having been through hundreds of closings of knowing what's out there and what you have to manage in order to get to the finish line. So thank you, Janine. We'd like to think that we are. <laughs> You're welcome. I think you are too. So in the environment currently, how would you go about closing then? Um, I would do all the things I said. Uh, motivation on the part of the lender, communication and, and coordination amongst all the different parties. A couple of tips for the current market. Um, Banks are moving slower, so you want to have patience, and you always want to have a backup lender uh, who 
is uh, in the mix in case your first lender isn't as quite as motivated as you initially thought they were. And if you do those things, I think you're going to get to a closing. Well, that's good to know. All right, everyone. Well, now I know who to call. Dave right <laughs> here. And that's all we have for today. So we'll see you soon. Thank you. Take care.